looking back at me I don't know what happened Guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on Baby, you and me, we're so messed up together Even if we tried, we'd be stuck here forever Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So, pretty excited today. This is my new car. This is the Volvo XC90. It's the D5R Design Edition. So, I wanted to go for a little bit of a bigger SUV, a seven-seater for larger families. So, I just wanted to see how this performs as a family car, so I picked it up. But let me go ahead, give you a bit of an overview and see how it is. Right, so I got this in white and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a feature overview. It comes with these awesome Xenon LED headlights, which I think is a really good design. I think there are better designs out there. My Velar has a little bit of a better LED design for the headlights, but nonetheless, I do like that. It's got the nice little trims here, and you've got the fog lights there at the bottom. The whole bumper, the front, I just think the mesh on the grill, the Volvo sign coming across like that, it just it stands out, and I think it really looks unique. So this comes with 20-inch diamond-cut matte black wheels, which I think look really awesome. I can feel the texture. They don't feel very metallic. It's more of a matte black soft kind of feeling, so it really stands out and that's one thing I really like about the car. Now I really like the really long brake lights. It's got a really cool design. You can see the D5, the XC90 logo is there. And you've got the windscreen wiper. On most SUVs I've had, uh, the windscreen wipers are hidden and they come down from the top. But this one is visible, nonetheless it looks really good. And you can see the dual exhaust as well. It just makes it a little bit more sporty. So the R design is more of a sportier model of the family car. So that's one of the reasons why I went to pick it up, but mainly is to see the performance, the interior, and actually how I can uh, fit all of my family members in there. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. So in the interior cabin, you've got leather upholstery all around. I've got the uh, sports leather seats, which look really awesome. So these are made in Sweden. You've got the little Swedish flag there. They feel really good. Inside the backrest of the uh, driver's seat, you have a lumbar support as well. So. If you wanted to, you can adjust that and get the backrest to come out from inside the back part of this seat and make yourself feel a little bit more comfortable whilst driving. Obviously, you've got the uh, power control to move it backwards, forwards, the back rest you can uh, tilt as well. The one thing I like about it, which is common in most cars nowadays, especially new cars, is the memory buttons. You can uh, adjust the seats and assign a memory so that it adjusts back to that same position if it goes out of position at any time. But more than that, you can actually adjust the uh, positions of the passenger seat from the driver's side. So if for any reason, if you'd like to adjust that, if someone's moved out of position, instead of you moving over and reaching to the sides to move the seats backwards and forwards, you can choose an option from the screen and it will adjust the seat on the passenger side using your uh, controls from the driver's side. In addition, both the passenger and the driver seats are heated and you also have the heated steering wheels so when you come out in winter mornings you'll heat up your seat as the first thing but also you'll feel that the uh, steering wheel is very cold on your hands so you can actually heat this up to the same amount you heat up your seats and i think that's a really cool feature to have as well the car also comes with something called clean zone system now what that does it prevents any pollution or pollen to come in through the outside and it filters it through the air control system so all of the air that's coming in into the car is clean air and that's particularly useful for people that have allergies so if you've got hay fever or you suffer from any other type of pollution allergy then uh, filtered air is something that you really need and this car will definitely give you that you also have the uh, front and rear heated windscreens so you can clear off any of the frost in winter mornings um, or any mist that you get then uh, it just clears it off straight away you also have the heated side mirrors as well so you always have visibility at all times now in terms of the side mirrors you also have a blind spot uh, indicator which i think is really useful so it lights up sort of a, a blood orange color to let you know that there's a car coming on that side of your car it prevents you from swerving into lanes for things that you can't see through the mirror so it's a really good safety feature to have this car also comes with uh, rear parking sensors with camera and the front parking sensors as well now the camera at the back i think is one of the best quality cameras i've seen on a rear parking camera so it's very high definition quality it's uh, very visible at night time as well and i feel like it's a lot better than the camera on my velar so looking at the central compartment system you can see that you've got the main compartment here 
quite a lot of storage space you can fit a lot of things in there you also have a USB charging port one port at the moment so you'll be able to charge your phone on the go you also have a compartment here if you pull this back you can fit all of your bottles it's quite a large space there's about three spaces for different bottles and then you also have a little compartment there at the front maybe to hold your phone or put a few keys or whatever you like to just um, put there so you press that to close that you pull this forward to, to bring that in there so this is the uh, start engine button so you just twist it to the right it will start and when you're ready to turn it off you twist it to the right again and it will turn off you also have a drive mode slider here so you press it once to bring up the options and you have between four different options to cover various different driving styles so you can do that by using this and i'll be covering this in my upcoming video so keep an eye out for that then you also have the gear stick here you have the button right at the front you can uh, put it back once into reverse or neutral and then finally into drive so if you wanted to put it into more of a sporty mode then you can do that using the drive mode wheel now it comes with sort of a ipad looking screen here this is a 12.3 inch tft display now you've got various options you've got your navigation there at the top you have your dab radio you got your phone for bluetooth pairing and then you also have some information about your car now if you swipe to the right you have various different car functions that you can select so obviously when the car is on and you're driving you can do various different things so you have your lane assist your park assist sport mode you can uh, do automatic start stop so if you're at a traffic light then uh, the car will uh, turn off temporarily until you start driving again and then you can also give yourself a distant alert so it beeps every time you're getting close to a vehicle ahead of you but usually people will keep that off and there's various other options that you can go through which i'll cover in a separate video then you also have different applications that you can use so if you wanted to use maybe some music off of a usb you can do that by selecting the usb option you can switch to bluetooth mode and then connect your ipod or your iphone and then also read your messages check various different things but then you also have the option to download stuff as well to install applications on this screen so i think that's pretty cool you also have a split climate control so the left side and the right side you'll be able to select whichever climate settings you want for the driver or the passenger and then you'll also be able to select your heated seats or heating steering wheel from here as well in terms of the audio system it comes with sensors connect which has 10 speakers giving a total of 330 watt power in the car which i think is pretty awesome and it does give you some good sound so if i just put capsule london on here for the radio just play a little bit that is a really good sound i think it just it vibrates throughout the whole car and I, for me personally i think that's just really important to have in any car is a really good speaker system and this car definitely gives you that it also comes with a full screen display here for your speedometer so all of your system settings the alerts the navigation or the traffic information will appear on this screen here which i think is really good and finally the car comes with keyless entry and keyless drive so you'll never have to take the key out of your pocket so just as long as you're close to the car you just literally tap the uh, square indent here on the door handles it will unlock the car and then you'll be able to open it up you'll also be able to open up the boot as well using a sensor so i'll quickly show you that now so the sensor for the boot is not quite in the middle it's slightly to the left so all you do is do a little kick and the boot should open now just to give you some uh, storage space idea of how big the boot is come and have a look now as you can see the boot is huge there's tons of space to put loads of equipment suitcases whatever you need to you can if you have a dog or a pet you can fit them in the back as well plenty of space to do that now it does come with two extra seats which you can pull out and use as a seven seater so i will show you an example of that as well but just a quickly look you have some space here for your spare wheel so underneath here is the extra wheel you can put other equipment inside this compartment here as well if you need to this side you have your first aid kit right in there as well and then on the ends there you have your compartments for your water bottles or any other storage spaces for when you lift up the back two seats and there you can see i've got the two seats up in the back and there's still plenty of storage space to put uh, all of your items and equipments there as well and just to give you an idea of how much space there is in this car plenty of leg room here 
and it's just so much space you've got lighting underneath the seats as well just to see the floor you've got a little mesh compartment here that you can just put all of your items maybe some drinks papers whatever um, this seat is also adjustable so that one thing I really like about it is you can adjust all of the back seats so you have a handle and a lever underneath you can push that forward to give more space to the people at the back if you have some there now you can just push it back and likewise you can do the same for these other ones also you have a little raised bump in the middle it's not a huge one but nonetheless it's there so you have to be aware for people sitting in the middle seat you also have a little compartment that comes out from here you can put a few things in there just press the button and you've got a couple of drink holders there but you can just use this generally for an armrest if you'd like to as well now I'm going to show you what it's like to sit in the back and how much space you have so what I'll do is I'll just put this seat down so you can have a look at the back and I'll just go to the back from this side now as you can see from here all you need to do is pull the lever from here and it pushes the seat forward like that very easy and you just hop in close the door pull this back and you're in I've got plenty of leg room a little bit but if these seats were to move forward because there's so much space in the front I will still have plenty of space here so I've got my compartment holders got the uh, storage space here at the back as well put my drinks in there and plenty of leg room I've got the seat belt sections here and it's pretty easy to get back out as well so I just pull that lever push the seat forward it doesn't fall back and I'm ready to go all right guys I hope you like that quick run through of my car here if there's any other questions you'd like to know about the Volvo XC90 then do drop a comment below Otherwise, I'll leave all the relevant links in the description box below. I hope you subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming out on this car and its capability, performance, driving. So keep an eye out for that. Other than that, I will catch you guys next time. Take care.